What's up guys, it's Reaper12 and I'm giving you a quick rundown on my Multicam Tropic Airsoft loadout. So to start off, this is just a standard Emerson Fast Helmet. It's the ballistic version. Uh, this is my paint job. Uh, I did it at, a, at a, my team leader's house. I just gave him five bucks and I used his paint. And uh, it came out way nicer than I thought it would. It was It's supposed to cure in like two days. Um, just because of the kind of paint it was, but it cured in like 12 hours and it was it's perfectly fine. Um, the BB shots that I took didn't really affect it that much and I kind of like the shots. Uh, there's like a shot or two back here and it kind of looks cool in my opinion. Um, but enough about that. Next I got my camera. It's not a GoPro. It's like a GoPro replica because I'm dirt cheap, but it works so I use it. Um, and then you can see the wire. I'll take off the helmet. You got the wire, runs under my uh, ISAF patch, and down that into my back, counterweight pouch, I have a charger in the back, and then under this, under the counterweight pouch, this is real multicam by the way, I, don't, I think it's Milsim Monkey or Monkey Tactical, whatever it's called, they make that or something, I have no idea. Um, then you twist this light, it's a red strobe for when I'm dead, if I were to play a Mill some game or something, I can just twist that and it'll turn on. I can twist it, it turns back off. Um, and then I got a reverse American flag patch in full color there. Um, I also run just an arc rail there. Uh, I don't actually put anything on it, it's kind of just there, just because, I guess. Um, then I got these. I want to uh, put my goggles on these clips. These headlock clips, that'd be pretty nice. Um, but yeah, I plan on getting a mantis strobe on top, or I also want to get a uh, helmet cover. Uh, next, we just have some like Bobster revision goggles. These are the goggle, the first pair of goggles that I got, and uh, they hardly ever fog up. The only time that they really ever fog up is if you're standing there in a hot environment, and you're sweating a lot, and you're standing there for like a minute straight and not moving at all. That's the only time these fog. So I'd say that these, they're like 15 bucks. This rubber can get kind of uh, agitating, but I really enjoy these goggles. Um, I would definitely say, because they're like $15. Uh, they're very good. And then, whoop, around my neck, um, I've got a just a Condor multi-wrap in, uh, I think it's, oh, it's Ranger Green. And uh, this is very comfortable, and it wicks a lot of sweat, and it keeps you cool. Uh, and I really like it, and it protects your neck and ears. Um, you still feel it, but it doesn't leave the mark as much, which is really nice, um, especially when you're playing CQB. Um, and then for my gloves, wearing Mechanics Fast Fits and Multicam, uh, tried and true. I've had these for a while. They're starting to fray a bit. These are the cheapest gloves that they make. They're like 15 bucks. Um, and the palms, really nice and sturdy. I want to upgrade uh, just to regular multicam, uh, multicam mechanics gloves or the MPAX, uh, one or the other. Uh, next, I'll go over my gun. My gun is the KWA MP7 uh, in black, obviously. Um, I just got this gun. Uh, from my team captain, I traded uh, my ANK uh, M249 Mark 46 for this, and uh, I'm liking it a lot. Um, I got two mags, one, two, um, but the only bad thing about this mag is I can't really use it because I need to get a new follower and a new spring and a new spring guide and a base plate because when I played with it, I the base plate popped off and out flew the spring. So I lost all the pieces. So I need to find replacement parts. I contacted KWA. I'm going to try to find a place to get it. And then on this, um, I just have a Condor uh, two point or one point sling. Um, it's normally a two point, but I put them together and made a one point uh, just because there's no point. There's a mount here for a, you want a two point sling. 
But there's no point. This gun is like, it's not long at all. Um, so let's set that down. And then we'll go over my plate carrier. This, as it has been, is the Modi JPC. Um, I've had this for, gosh, year, two years maybe. Long time, and I love this plate carrier so much. It's my favorite plate carrier. Um, and then in it, I have Elite Force mags, just for looks. I don't actually use them, because I use an MP7, but I'll probably, if I wanted to, I'll end up just filling them up with BBs or something and let friends use it. And then I got a double pistol mag pouch for Condor. Uh, MP7 mags fit in just fine uh, when you tuck in the flap. They, they're not coming out. Not coming out at all, but they come out. When you do want them to come out, they pull out pretty fast and they insert really easily. And this one I just have a speed loader. Pretty useful tool. Um, Midland Extra Talk. Plan on upgrading to maybe like a toy soldier. I'll end up getting an emb embitter pouch uh, right here to put it in. And I got nothing on my sides because I like to run clean sides. Um, it's a lot more comfortable. Um, in my opinion. And on the back, I have a, where is it, right here? I have a Emerson, or a TMC uh, map pack, or modular assaulters pack uh, in multicam. And then I run hydro, and, some, and I'll run extra stuff, or if I want to put my sling in there, I'll just throw it in there. And then I got two patches, um, on there, and then I got a fast mag with an extra M4 mag in case you know anybody needs it. Or is it right there? It's right there. Extra fast mag, it's like an extra elite force mag cap in there just in case anybody needs it. And then this gem right here, I got my Doge patch, pretty awesome. I love that patch, and a lot of people like to comment on it when they see you on the field. Um, so next I'll go over my combat shirt. This is the TMC uh, replica of the Cry combat shirt. Um, it's TMC, I know. I was really on a budget, but this shirt is like fantastic. Um, the Multicam Tropic matches perfect with my pants. And it's just, it's not like you'll look at the Multicam, the regular Multicam that they have and it looks nowhere as close as it does to the real. So if you match up the TMC with the real, it doesn't look anything, they don't look anything alike. But then you take the uh, Tropic replicas and you put it next to the real ones, the multicam is exactly the same and it's really nice. And on it, I got Team Patch, Red Cobra Airsoft. Link will be in the description if you want to check us out. And then I got a multicam, uh, this is a reverse flag. Yeah, this is a reverse flag. And then normal flag and a uh, I came here to kick ass and eat bacon patch, crusader patch, pretty awesome. Uh, usually I'll be running a pen in the pen pocket, especially during bigger games when I need to. And I don't run anything inside this map either, or in any of these pockets, but usually I'll put, I will put a map if I need to. Um, and then my belt, I think it's just a Lancer Ruger's belt, uh, pretty cheap. Got it off uh, Evike for $7. Um, because I was running like a, a dress, like something you'd wear like um, during church. So I wanted something that looked more tactical. Um, there's not really any rigging space. Um, you can't like, you know, there's no molly on it. This is for like, you know, rigging and doing, uh, crap, what is it, repelling. Um, and then my pants, I'll back up a bit. My knee pad's coming out. Not good. Uh, back up here. My pants are the Rasputin uh, replica of the Cry G3 Multicam Tropic trousers. Um, these pants are fantastic. Um, I cannot say anything better about these pants. These pants are amazing and they're so comfortable and so adjustable. And then they got the stretch fa fabric. As you can see, 
just like the real cries. It's got the stretch fabric right there. It's got it in the crotch area. It's got it right here. And it's so comfortable and flexible. It's really, I would recommend these a thousand times. And then I got the real, these are real cry knee pads on the inside um, because I figured if you're gonna get high pant, high quality pants, you might as well get high quality knee pads. Um, I don't really run anything in my pants. Uh, every now and then I'll put like a knife in there or um, sometimes when I'm going real fast I'll put a, the mag in there just because it's under high stress it's harder to put the mag back in the pouch. So I'll just throw in my uh, cargo pockets because there's so many pockets. Uh, um, if you guys ever want me to review any of this stuff just post in the comments and I'll try to uh, review any of this stuff. And for my boots, I just got some Nike uh, combat boots. They were pretty cheap, They're like 40 bucks. So I decided, why not? And I got them. Um, for under my pants, I usually run like Nike Nike uh, baseball sliders um, because they're the same as compression shorts and they wick uh, the sweat, but when you play in CQB and you're sliding a lot, I learned this because I used to play baseball, you tear up your side and it just, it's real painful, especially right here in the hip bone. But once you get baseball sliders, it is a godsend to slide on your side. Um, yeah, because you can't really slide with these knee pads in because they'll, you can't slide on your knees because they'll just pop right out. Um, and then my socks, I just have, Waterproof hiking socks. I plan to get more pairs of them, especially for longer games when I need to have multiple pairs just in case. Um, but that's about it. I think I covered everything. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and watch the rest of my videos. Peace!